Guys, got another project going on this weekend. It was supposed to be horrible because of Hurricane Andrew, but we didn't even get a little bit of rain out here in Virginia. And I uh, started doing some some bullshit work on the weekend, so wanted to record it and get any process done. I'm hoping to get this done as soon as possible. So I bought this new product. It's called POR15 and uh, it's a uh, pour over rust and I'm pretty sure I could just pour it over this but I'm gonna do like I did to this one which I'm not even done I'm gonna sand them all down with a little bit of paper and try to get as much of this rust out and the POR15 is supposed to work really good on um, old vintage cars like the floors and stuff it's uh, good for encapsulating the rust and making a complete waterproof barrier is good for heat as well I've never tried it myself I bought a kit always wanted to try it out so we're gonna do these braces with that POR 15 and see how it works out and just so you guys are wondering so these are brackets for the 2x4 frames on a trailer so these go kinda like this on the side you know they go mounted like that and then you are able to make a frame around it out of 2x4 to retain your stuff on your utility trailer so we're gonna give this a shot i'm gonna pause this here in a little bit and see what we got once i got them all sanded down see you guys in a sec all right guys put in a little bit of work and i wasn't going to record this but just so you guys see what i'm working with and how is it that is this working so i'm using a rinky dink 12 volt uh 12 volt uh, ryobi electric drill and this is what i did i put the the brush on the drill and i just spin it like that as you can see you can see the the big difference right where i go obviously i can't get into the corners because the disc is a little bigger than what i need but did all the side like that right there so all i got really is this part right here in the corner which i'm gonna get with this smaller one as you can see it's a really big difference compared to the other one so i should be able to get into in there a little bit better like that and on the corner like that and try to do as much as i can again this this stuff that i'm using is por 15 is actually supposed to go over the rust all you got to do is give it a light scuff but you know be, me being me and i have the tools that i need to do it i'm just putting in a little bit extra work you know uh that's gonna just make it last just a little bit longer so i ended up doing all the marks As you can see all the marks are sanded on these all of these are completely sanded the same way as you can see, I couldn't get in the corner of none of these. I mean, but for 30 minutes worth of work, it's not bad. So I'm actually going to swap this out real quick. And then I'm going to try to do clean as much as those. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. Well, here it is. Did a lot of fucking finger fucking with the sandpaper. You know, doing the sides. You know trying to get him as much because i don't have no air i have to fix my air compressor which you guys remember that about two three weeks ago or four weeks ago i said i was gonna start getting my compressor fixed but i haven't gotten a hose and i need a pipe and a belt so because i have i don't have a compressor i have to do everything by hand which i'm not complaining but uh this little thing helped me right here like i said before and this is actually the kit it's the super started kit. I think I paid 80 bucks for this one. And, you know, it just like it says, clean it, prep it, paint it. So as you can see, most of these, well, actually all of these are prepped. We got all the, most of the rust out. As you guys can see, all of these are completely sanded on the side and in the front. So I'm probably going to leave... the part two for tomorrow i don't know i don't i don't want i don't want to feel lazy and i think i can 
flip these upside down and paint all the bottoms of these and then let them dry overnight and then maybe tomorrow I'll do the front caps and let those dry out so we'll see I'll see you guys in a second all right guys we're back so I just used this brush right here which is an acrylic brush I used it to make sure I grabbed it and you know brush it make sure it doesn't have any particles any dust and the light is kind of crappy in here because my light in the ceiling is kind of crapping out on me so as you can see it's missing two bulbs I mean it's not missing it's just fucking up so I went upstairs in my room and let's see if this makes any difference oh yeah oh yeah that's a lot better finally came in handy so that's what I got right now I'm gonna paint these backs put these rubber gloves you definitely want to use protection because this this stuff right here POR 15 man this thing is sticky as hell I want to say it's oil based but I'm not even 100% sure I just know it's sticky as hell so I'm wearing my long sleeves and uh, for welding and I'm gonna put some rubber gloves on top so we'll paint these I'll see you guys in a second all right so I did a little bit of prep I got a little lacquer thinner here on my bottle I know it says spray nine but I just use an empty spray nine bottle put some lacquer on it put it in a rag wiped all the parts down front and back you can see there's like no rust on these hopefully once we get them painted they're looking a lot better it's supposed to be self-leveling paint so we'll see what happens here in a second well guys there it is I did the whole inside hopefully you know they turn out nice I mean as you can see it's got a nice shine to it it is self-leveling so that means that you won't see the brush strokes or if you decide to roll it you won't see the roll marks but in parts kind of small like this which is actually almost the size of my hand small parts like that you know I used a nylon uh, paintbrush and I'm not gonna lie so this is four ounces this is like the smallest can that I have ever seen look at that it's my hand is bigger than that um, so when I pulled this out of the box I had no faith I was like god dang it I'm not gonna be able to finish this job but believe it or not that's all I've used and I did six eight pieces and granted yeah we still have to do you know the back parts maybe I'll do another coat once it's completely covered I'll do an extra coat on top just to make sure that it's extra extra protected but guys you guys don't understand there's no dust here so don't think that uh, it looks like crap because of dust. There is like no dust at all. That's just, uh, I guess, you know, from the metal being the way it is. So this is going to be part one. If you guys see what you, if you like what you see, stay tuned. Maybe by tomorrow I'll have part two up. I got to make sure, like you can see that, you know, I didn't get those. That's the only one that I didn't do like that but because I ended up you know having to do both sides because it was dripping through the hole but the other ones are looking good I mean yeah it's got a couple of like I don't even know if that's air pockets or what but it trust me it looks good so there you guys go stay in tune maybe tomorrow the day after tomorrow for part two I also wanted to say I finally cleaned up my garage everything's on the side got plenty of room to work <clears throat> making a mess so I put down a blanket so I don't get no no paint on my brand new floor you know they don't want to go the extra mile you know wasting time trying to paint the floor so I could just screw it all up you know so you still got to protect it but uh yeah not bad at all so we'll see tomorrow what's going on how these dried up Hopefully it looks a little bit better, but completely worth it. Alright guys, keep on cruising.